What will happen to asset classes around the world? Will they worry about the number of infected going up, or will they focus on the economic fundamentals, which seem to be pointing to slightly better economic data? Um, you, you, you're right to point out to this, uh, this huge uncertainty we're seeing, and the, uh, the obvious uh, fact is that uncertainty is, is good for markets. Uh, and it's always, been, it's always been the case, to be honest. Um, you know, the, the fact that there is uncertainty means that central banks will remain on their toes. Uh, it means that liquidity remain, will remain abundant. It means also that there is a lot of uh, um, divergence between, uh, you know, people's opinion and expectations. And so it avoids really the, the bubble where uh, everybody is in the same opinion and goes in the same direction and then markets become very, very fragile. Uh, and I would add one, one more thing, which is that as long as the economy remains, uh, remains quite weak because the demand side remains affected by the, the fear of contagion and, and so on, it means that all this liquidity that is being poured in, into the system, instead of leading to uh, you know, consumer price inflation, you know, keeps leading to asset price inflation. So, so I suspect, yes, this, this uncertainty, the fact there is no clear answer to your question, is actually uh, you know, positive for, for markets. Um, DJ, give us a sense of what your clients want. Are they bullish? Are they bearish? Or do you have to be overly cautious because actually you worry about volatile markets? <laughs> well, it, it, it sort of goes back to, uh, to the previous point that there is, uh, there is really a lot of uh, discrepancy uh, you know, between uh, the, the ones that are just uh, you know, playing the momentum, the ones that are scared as to where this is uh, all, uh, all leading. Uh, and that results into pretty much a, a two-tiered market. You, know, you, you have those uh, um, you know, very, uh, very spicy uh, stocks, which nobody, uh, uh, at least no professional investor, probably would, uh, would want to own for the long-term portfolios. Uh, but these are favored by uh, some retail investors that just want to, to enjoy uh, the, the, the party. Uh, but professional investors, you know, um, and certainly, uh, at Carmignac, we, uh, we we feel like we are not alone in, in this uh, in this camp. We consider that this discrepancy between the economy, which surely is going to recover uh, very slowly uh, at best, and um, you know major uh, support from policymakers, means that what you want to own is is exactly and they, they need to to fit the profile of companies that do not get hit. Or even benefit, you know, from the, the, this uh, very slow uh, you know, retail demand, uh, and at the same time, you know, do benefit from uh, from this policy support. And basically, it goes back to the uh, the old winners, uh, which is basically the the, the ones benefiting from the structural trends. So the you know the shift uh, to uh, online. Uh, uh, retailing, uh, you know, the, the, the growing rate of uh, adoption of e-commerce, uh, online gaming, digital disruption, green activities, and so on. And those trends are just uh, not maintained. They're accelerated. They're enforced by what's going on. And, and that's where probably you, you definitely want to, to put your money in and what, that's what clients want.